So because they couldn't assassinate him politically, they couldn't assassinate him financially, they had to go out and actually try to assassinate him. Completely insane. And at this point, these people have time after time after time again shown that they are complete 110% cowards at this point. And it's insane, okay? So let's gonna we're gonna just jump right into this, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through a few clips and I'll give my thoughts and commentary throughout, but more so on the back end. So if you're new here, definitely be sure to subscribe and support the channel. We will be covering more stuff like this. Let's go. And that comes right from the government services comes right out of border patrol take a look at that so that arrow is the lowest amount of illegal immigration ever in recorded history into our country and then and then the worst president in the history of our country took over and look what happened to our country probably 20 million people and you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Get down, get down, get down, get down. So, I, I I had already seen this clip when I when I first saw this clip I, I couldn't believe my eyes and so I'm sitting here like, you gotta be kidding me no way no way Trump how can they get to Trump he's got the Secret Service I, you know he's got all this protection security everywhere you can't get to Trump but no sure enough sure enough this happens and then it appears that it, at least eleven shots went off. How? Like, was the secu was the Secret Service even doing their job? I, I really, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm stuck. I'm stuck between two places. That, that, and one, one side of me is saying, okay, well, it's Trump. Uh, you know, he's gonna have extreme security everywhere. Okay, he's gonna be completely protected from all angles. The other side of me is saying that, well, the Dems are panicking. Okay, they're losing these cases. They're they're not getting the results they want, the results they're going for. Okay, and he and Trump is consistently overcoming these uh, these roadblocks and hurdles they're placing before him. And on top of that, the Dems are also collapsing within their own political party, you know, attacking each other. So, I'm really almost not surprised that they're even going to this, ex you know, this extent to really just to really get the things that they want out here. So I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really split in between two, two, two ways of thinking here. One side of me is saying, I don't, I just can't believe that they would even do something like this because I would think that, I would think that Trump, his just protection would be just top notch. The other side of me is saying, no, they're raging and they will stop at nothing to achieve their goals. We already knew that, and you, and you know what else? This also shows that Trump is closer and closer and closer. And and I've been saying it, okay? The Dems have been panicking. They will do anything, and I mean anything, like this, okay? And this is absolutely insane, man. Now I do think that it's a bit too early to sit here and debate whether it's staged or not. A lot of people are sitting here and coming up with their own assumptions and everything like that. I personally think it's a little too early. I think we have to. We have to just let more stuff come out and rewatch these clips a little bit more personally before we just sit in here and start making our own analysis and all this other kind of stuff. Granted, I still don't trust anybody at the same time because when it comes to these politics, this thing can turn into a giant uh, theatrical show immediately. And it's already kind of like that as it as it is right now. But it's it's just really hard to tell, man. It's really hard to tell. Okay, we are watching live at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, where former President Trump was speaking on the stage. There has been some kind of disturbance that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run it back. 
you can clearly see that like he definitely he's facing so here right here he's facing this direction like the direction he's facing it makes sense how he got shot to me because part of me is questioning like is this even real like maybe they put some red in his hand and it, or whatever the case like conspiracy side of me is like is this fake but i don't i don't think this is fake i really do think that you know i think that the dems will stop at nothing and i think they're desperate and i think they're radical and they will go to the extreme and that's that and trump is you know he's got a clear runway to win you know biden def after this just happened biden definitely is not winning the election most definitely. And and they know that. That's why they got to pull in cackling Kamala Harris. Okay. Which is absolutely just. Just 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 more of a crap show, honestly. But to see this right here, like I even saw the independents starting to speak out more and more. Okay. The independents were saying normally they vote for the third party. But after tonight, after this incident right here, they're definitely you, you know where their vote is going. And they were saying that they were saying Trump has my vote, you know, and this, this is just insane at this point. This is, is, it's absolutely disgusting. It's insane. It's just wild and it's just pathetic, quite frankly, to, to be completely, frankly, honest. Country took over and look what happened to our country. Probably 20 million people. Conspiracy theorists were going nuts over this scene right here, this clip right here, because you have the three, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired, and the fired shots, and they're trying to say it's a, a sacrifice almost kind of thing. I, I, I'm not going to dig too deep into that. Personally, I'm not going to get too deep into that. Like I said, I think it's too early to sit here and make assumptions about that kind of stuff. I still am just, just really locked in to really examining this right here. Like, where was the Secret Service at? Like, how do you sneak in to get this close to attack President Trump? How? Just how? And, you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Get down, get down, get down, get down. same time around this part of the video uh there's a recording saying that they that they got the shooter so he he got deleted so that right there and then they started showing the clips of his body on like a roof how did they not see him to begin with with all the ai the drones the the metal detectors the the crowds of people everywhere how you know that is something that just really baffles my mind and I, I'm at a point where, you know, like I said before in my previous content, if you've been following me, if you're part of the King Squad, if you're not, definitely subscribe, okay? We, we, we're here posting on this consistently. And I've been saying that with everything going on, they'll stop at nothing. At the same time, though, I really think that if, if, if they, everything they've thrown at Trump has backfired, it only makes him bigger. So if they wanted to stop him, this was the absolute stupidest thing to possibly do. This was the stupidest thing to do because now you really solidified people like like you got to really understand the amount of support. Did you not see the amount of support he got when they when they convicted him and called him a felon? And this is that and third. And he got he, he got convicted as a felon. The amount of support and donations he got was insane. If I'm not mistaken, he got the most donations than any other president in all of the history of presidency. What do you think is going to happen after this? And then he raises his fist in the air. That's encouragement to MAGA. What? So they just, they don't think. Insane. Insane. Stop. 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 
Okay, we are watching live at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, where former President Trump was speaking on the stage. There has been some kind of disturbance that clearly sets law enforcement and Secret Service into motion, immediately jumping around the former president in a protective mode. The crowd has been screaming. They are standing by. You can hear some voices there saying, are we ready to go? No. Yeah, he's hit. He's definitely hit. You can see right here. You can see right here. You can look at him. You can see that he's like really like injured. Screaming. They are standing by. You, you can hear. Yeah he, yeah, he looks like he's hit. You can see it in his face. Some voices there saying, are we ready to go? Are we like he appears distressed, but he also appears focused at the same time. Like he's still he's still pushing to be the president of the United States. He's he still displays strength, which is another reason why he has my vote, man. If you were unsure, uh, it, it, matter of fact, if you love your country, you're voting Trump. If you at this point, you know, it's solidified. If you want if you love your country and you want to see your country thrive, Trump has your vote. I'm not I'm not influencing anybody, but I'm stating after this incident, people are definitely solidified that, OK, no, Trump's got my vote. And then you see the state of the economy. You see the things that Biden is allowing in. You see this whole thing with the immigrants, the draft, the pushing for wars, with the destruction of these kids and these families and 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 the stuff and the, the people who are getting rights versus the people who are working their butts off to to keep America up and running. It's insane out here. We're ready to go. We are looking at President Trump. This does not look good. I'm going to be honest with you. From what we can see right here, it looks like they are attempting to move him out that he may wow. have been injured. Wow. He is holding up his arm. He is pumping his fist, but clearly Secret Service wants to get him out of this situation. Wow. And that comes. Wow. Yeah, if you're for Trump, yeah, this is everything to you. You know, you you definitely are are definitely like locked in. Like seeing this right here, if you're for Trump, oh my gosh. You're number 1 absolutely disgusted, furious and and motivated. Quite frankly, seeing this right here, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Now if you're anti-Trump, you're like, "Oh yeah, this is this is great." But then it's like Dang, <laughs> just wow, man. All right, let's get, let's just check this out. This is from Donald Trump's account, at real Donald Trump, and I'm gonna go ahead and read it to you. <laughs> so this is Trump breaks silence after shooting. He had a deletion attempt placed on his life. All right, let's get into it. Uh, by way of Trump's campaign, who sends it this way and says the following. I want to thank the United States Secret Service and all of law enforcement for their rapid response on the shooting that just took place in Butler, Pennsylvania. Most importantly, I want to extend my condolences to the family of the person at the rally who was killed and also to the family of another person that was. Wow. Wow. Look at that. It looks like it grazed him. What do you have to be using to graze him like that? Thank, thank God it, it was just that. Okay, that's another uh, aspect. You know, prayers out to Trump as well. I meant to say that in the beginning, but I'm just I'm just frustrated with this stuff, man. As I know we all are. Okay, furious, in fact. But uh, you know, what did what? How did they let this get past the Secret Service and the metal detectors and the security? How the drones, the the scopes on that on whatever guns they got. You know, thank God it was just that. I think the scariest thing, too, is even though they didn't complete their goal, thank God, they still sent, they tried to send a message, which Trump shot that message down. No, no, like pun intended or anything like that. But they, he dispelled that message when he raised his fist up and that, that was like empowering. Okay, no, we're still here. We're still standing strong. We'll continue to fight. And that just shows you how, like, the state of our country. This this is a perfect display of the state of our country, man. Honestly. Quite just insane. And so when you see this right here, and then you hear that he's still giving his, he's extending his condolences to the people who actually lost someone. 
Biden is done. <laughs> Seriously. Trump, like, the the only thing that I'm really think one of them out of the many things, let me say it like this, out of the many things that's crossing my mind, I'm thinking about, okay, how is Trump gonna, gonna campaign after this? He, I like, he's gotta go on, like, a bulletproof suit or something or wear a helmet or something, man. Like, th- that's the scary part. That's just, and you know, he still got to keep going. He still got to keep going. How is he going to campaign again? And then, you know, he can't, I, I don't personally believe he can campaign in this state. I mean, would you sit here and campaign after you just had a straight attack or, you know, uh, someone placing this hit on your life? And then you got to stand before all these people. Like, try to put your sho- your, yourself in his shoes. You got to stand before all these people and display strength, you know, and and sell yourself as I'm ready to lead this country into greatness and stare at this whole crowd of people after someone just grazed your ear, you know, missing everything over here. That, my, my Trump has, you know, my utmost respect. Just all my respect goes to Trump, man. Seriously. God bless him. Seriously. Let's go. Was badly injured. It is in killed and also to the family of another person that was badly injured. It is incredible that such an act can take place in our country. Nothing is known at this time about the shooter who is now dead. I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong and that I heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin. Much bleeding took place, so I realized then what was happening. He concludes in all caps, God bless America. Now, some people were also trying to say that this was a setup. So, which I still, I, like I said, I think it's way too early to be coming with all that conspiracy and stuff like that. I mean, I, I'll get into that later on personally on my end. Okay, my own thoughts about that. But as of right now, like for instance, people were stating that Oh no, this this was all staged and everybody was actors and the Dems are coming out saying this whole thing was a Hollywood performance. No. And be, uh, they were saying that as well also because of this picture right here. So with this picture right here, this is, you know, how did you get that shot of him with the the blood and the American flag and this stuff was staged. And and the secret service and he's got his fist in the air. This stuff was a setup so they could I, I really have no idea what they thought they were going to do, you know, for this to be a setup. I, I, I'm not that I really can't see, to be honest. I think that there are uh, people taking pictures designated to wherever location they're designated and they got their perfect shot at the right moment and all that kind of stuff. Because, you know, if you weren't a patriot before this, you're a patriot now. Especially seeing something like this. Oh my gosh. And then you look at all the military that's fought and all the military families. What? Oh my gosh. Seeing something like this, the amount of support Trump is going to get again. Oh my gosh. How stupid. Exclamation point. That from Donald Trump at the medical facility now in Pennsylvania. Wow. Just wow. All right, and we're going to go to this clip right here. This is where this is where I'm at, as well as there's many other angles I can come from with this entire thing. But so we here here we have it. I witnessed the crowd went nuts when Trump pumped his fist, and we saw that. Let's get right into this. Robert Rosano and Thomas uh, Lepore, uh, thank you both for being with us. Uh, Robert, let's start with you and and get your take. Four rows behind, what did you see? Uh, Sean, you know, it it was just a, it was a really surreal moment. Um, You know, uh, just 10, 15 minutes prior, uh, we're sitting there, we're watching former President Trump, uh, you know, give a great speech. Uh, the crowd was electric despite, you know, the heat, the weather. Um, you know, we, we, we saw him come out to God bless America. And uh, it was just a great moment. You know, uh, the, the, the crowd was um, just really happy to hear him and, and see him and be there. And, uh, you know, then all of a sudden, 
uh, mayhem, you know, ensued. And uh, we heard probably three to four shots uh, ring out. And, uh, you know, uh, most of the crowd had, had hit the ground after that. Um, you know, we heard uh, several more shots ring out um, that sounded, uh, you know, a lot more powerful. Uh, we assumed that it was, you know, Secret Service because they were a lot closer. Um, and then, uh, you know, we, we, we looked up and uh, you could see in the stands that there were several bodies, unfortunately, that were on the ground. Um, there was a good deal of blood and it looked like law enforcement was uh, carrying a body out. Um, you know, we weren't sure, you know, who it might have been. Uh, but the next thing that I knew, Sean, was uh, we looked up and we saw the president. He stood uh, proud. Uh, Secret Service had helped him up and he pumped his fist at the crowd. And, uh, you know, the crowd went nuts. You know, we, we started chanting USA. And, uh, you know, there was a sense of relief, I think, that uh, overcame us because we were just happy that, uh, you know, President Trump was OK. Yeah, it really is. And. and Thank God, seriously, man. Thank God, honestly. There's nothing but the grace of God right there, honestly, man. Because that, look at that. Just look at that. Just wow. And then you really got to sit back and question the Dems. Like, this is what you guys, like, that's what you guys, that's how desperate you guys are. You guys are that desperate that you'll go to sit here and try to take away somebody's father just so you can execute your wicked and vindictive, evil, demonic plots and schemes out on the country. Just insane, honestly, man. This is just just frustrating, insane. At that point, can I vote twice for Trump? Because <laughs> if I if I can, I will. Comment down below your thoughts about this entire thing, man. Seriously. Uh, I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I am. I'm fed up. I really am, man. Because that, that was so uncalled for. That was so unnecessary. This man does does this man does not have to run for president. Like this, this is the, this is where my mind is at with everything. You know, I when I saw this, I was like. This man does not have to run for president. This man is literally going, voluntarily going through all these trials, attacks, and, and assassinations on his character, on his finances, on his business, um, and towards his, you know, his family safety and all this kind of stuff. And now his life, just to make sure we can have a better tomorrow, like just so, just just so that we can see the country strong again and and stand on its own two feet. Stuff is insane, man. Stuff is insane. Just wow. Just disgusting at this point, honestly. I, I'm i really blown away. Like, this is honest. Like, before God on the throne, like, this is my honest reaction. Like, I'm sitting here like, just wow. I'm, I'm really upset at this entire thing, to be honest with you. I'm really, I'm really like. Now, imagine if, imagine if that happened to Biden. Imagine if that happened to Biden. Imagine if that happened to Biden. Just wow. And uh, to the people that are still hoping that Trump doesn't doesn't make it, you know, and doesn't become the uh, our our president, it, he's going to become president. He's this this just locked him in officially. He, I'm at a point personally where I think even if he doesn't continue to campaign and he chooses to campaign virtually, pfft, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you're going to be looking at three times the security, cybersecurity, firewalls and 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 drones and jets everywhere in real life and on the Internet. And and then on top of that, like quadruple the support. So if they if they were mad at their attempts failing, then they're really going to be pissed off now. And I don't say that to incite another event, you know, to take place or to, you know, foreshadow something else taking place again towards him. I'm saying that simply to say that it backfired again. And they're they're showing their true colors. They're showing the true colors. These people aren't for the people. They have their own wicked, evil agendas. And it's just sickening. 
it's just sickening but that's all for this video you guys i just wanted to just put my own commentary out there because it's it's just, it's insane, it's absurd, it's frustrating, it's disgusting, I'm appalled, um, I'm furious, and I'm, I'm quite frankly, I'm fed up, quite frankly. So, God bless President Trump, man, thank God, you know, that he, he's blessed, that it didn't hit him in his, in his heart, or anything like that, or in his mind, or like, you know, it didn't hit him in the eye, it just grazed his ear, you know, it, the whole thing is crazy whole thing is crazy there's so many different things that we have yet to see unveil about this entire event okay i never i never thought this would happen like i i, I could imagine them going to this extreme but then again i didn't think that they actually would because i just was thinking like trump has the money the power the respect he has the power another reason why i think the actual system wants to take him out outside of just the dems i think it's the actual the higher ups i think they want to take him out as well quite frankly because when when you have he trump has his own money okay you can't control him he has his own money he's got his own businesses Okay, he's already got his own brand, his own name. And as long as he has that brand, okay, even if you were to assassinate his businesses, he can still come back and make quadruple more. Start a brand new business and, and make double that. Okay, just off his name alone. So I didn't think they would actually go to this extreme, but boy, oh boy, man. They definitely showed their true colors today. And so did Trump. Just wow, he doesn't even have to go through this. I, I know I keep saying it. I know I sound like a broken record, but he doesn't have to go through this. <laughs> he does not have to go through this. For, so for him to sit here and he's got to go to sleep at night and then, you know, calm down and ease the, ease the anxiety of, wow, you know, this just happened. That put him in a state of shock and he still pushed through to, to encourage everybody around him to not give up. Yeah. That's my president. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my thoughts on this you guys definitely comment down below your own thoughts definitely make sure to share this video so more people can be exposed to the truth and you know just be just be like i said exposed to the truth and be awakened to what's going on out here not woke awakened so that's that guys and yeah god bless every god bless trump and thank shout out to the secret security for well the secret security the secret service for still being on top of it to even make sure to delete the shooter at that because they I, I will give them credit for that i personally was disappointed in their reaction time to how quickly they got on stage but then again i i am thankful that they were able to de-escalate the situation at the speed at which they did making sure that they, the guy couldn't reload and then go back at trump so thank god for that because they took him out immediately i was like dang but comment down below your thoughts, guys, and that's that. We will be discussing this more, and yeah, that's that, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.